What's going on fellas, it's your boy Halbin and on this video I'm going to show you how to connect many chats with Google Sheets so you can set up a sheet for the campaigns that you will be running for your restaurant clients. Before I do that though, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and to like this video so you guys can actually help me with the YouTube algorithm. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is obviously um, log into your restaurant's client's mini chat account then hop over to settings and then from settings you're gonna go to integrations from integrations Google sheet I already have there um, connected but I'm gonna disconnect it and connect it to another one just so I can show you connect to Google Sheets it's gonna ask you to sign into your account sign in allow And then from there, your account is already connected to Google Sheet. So then the other thing that you want to do is you want to go to um, Flows. You want to go to Flows. And then you want to tap into the one that we are working with, with, which is the free food giveaway flow. By the way, if this is the first video that you're watching, I'm creating a video series of three videos where I show you how I help a restaurant client 7x or 10x I believe their marketing budget using this method so you click on edit flow and then from here because we didn't add it into the other video from here you're gonna go to the last action you're gonna tap on add a new action and then you're gonna insert the Google sheet action insert row select spreadsheets restaurant YouTube video sheet one let me just refresh the data so there are no column titles in the current sheet please go to Google Sheets and add title okay so we can leave that for last and then we can go work on the restaurant uh, on the sheet so you're gonna open up Google Sheets right Google Sheet tap on it I already have it open up over here but I just want to show you so you guys know how to get there Google Sheets and it's gonna show you a list of all of the Google Sheets, all of the sheets that you've created. So for us, for this video, is going to be restaurant YouTube video. So here it's going to be blank. So the first thing I like to do, and this is just uh, a personal choice, I like to select in all of them by tapping this square over here, and I like to center it and also put it in the middle. If you guys, if you guys have a font of um, preference, you guys can also add it. To every column that to every word that will be added in any column of the sheet by selecting this thing over here and just by selecting the font that you want so for this one let's see let's make it a little bit cute let's put Calibri where is it if I have it over here so that not here so let's just leave it like that so let's just leave it like that first name last name Facebook ID bill total value total value average bill right here what I did was that I merged the columns G and H by going in this merge cells and then merge horizontally then what I want to do or what I like to do is that I like to merge the columns or the rows well the columns on row number one and merge them uh, horizontally and then in the middle I can put the name of a, of a restaurant client so when I go to show them it's gonna look a little bit better and more and, and, and it's gonna it's gonna look better and he's, he's gonna like it even more than if you show him a blank sheet because this is the sheet that you're actually gonna use to show them the results that you got from for them with the campaigns that you've been running for the restaurant so I'm just gonna put restaurant YouTube video right you can also color it you can do all sorts of things you just put it in the middle actually let's see let's see let's see let's see we're running into some issues right here so merge all without it being horizontally just merge all or let's see just merge from here from a to i where is it? Where is it? Okay, right here. Merge all. Right there. Automatically, it's going to put it in the middle. I don't know. I'm just picky sometimes with the way that 
I set up my things. So right here, so then you put the first name, last name, Facebook ID, the bill total. This is the spot where um, the when the waiter or waitress um, put in the bill total for the customer, it's going to put it here automatically. Okay? So you put all of this in and then you can decor you can decorate it the way that you want to after. So let's go back to the flow. Sheet one. It's just it's gonna refresh. There we go. Many set data. Column titles. Let's see. Refresh. Here is the issue that I found is that the first, so it says right here, the first row of the table is used for your column titles. So since the first row I used it to put in a little, um, a little title right here for the restaurant YouTube video, then it's using that as the only, as the only columns for my actions. So this, you can erase it. You don't really need this. I was just doing it to be bougie, I guess, <laughs> but just the, uh, delete row. And now if we go back to it and we refresh it, and I didn't even cut this part so you guys know that sometimes there's going to be roadblocks when you're building flows and it's completely normal. So just read it and, and you'll be fine. So let's see. It says there's gaps. So right here it says the first row of the table is used for column title. title. I mean, we can't send data to the current worksheet due to the gaps between column titles. Please go to Google Sheets, delete the gaps. And refresh the data okay so we go back and let's delete these two gaps okay boom let's see now what is it gonna say boom there we go so the first name is the first the first name of the um, subscriber then you're gonna select the last name first name last name Facebook ID just in case if you have a hard time um, looking for that um, client for that for that subscriber so put user ID where is it user ID bill total is going to be the um, custom you're gonna select the custom user fields bill total or the as you name yours and then the value right the value you're gonna leave this alone because we're gonna do something else with this we just move this out of the way click on save and then automatically publish always remember that whenever you do a change or whenever you do something with your mini chat flow tap on publish so that it can actually go through so now if we go through the flow it's actually going to um, send the data to our mini chat to our Google sheet then you're gonna go to total value what you want to do is that you want to go to total value and then from total value you're gonna go to you're gonna insert function and then sum. you're gonna put in the sum of all of the columns that you add yourself or you could have just um, selected the whole the uh, column and it would have just done this the it was, it's a faster it's an easier and faster way to do the job so tap there the value is obviously zero because there is no number input so just so we can make sure that it works we'll just add in a random number so 10 total value is 10 so our function works so then what i like to do is that i like to format my numbers and put it into um number and then currency for the restaurant so then when in total value we can see the 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 money symbol the currency symbol and then on for the average bill we're gonna go to um, inserts function and then the average what this is gonna do is that it's going to take the average from the total value of all of the people that come in and use the coupon and it's just gonna tell you an average of how much each person um, I spent on the restaurant so now what we're gonna do is that we're going to test our flow so just meet me and my phone number let me just put um, in my phone let me just pull my phone right here I already have the post pulled pulled up I'm gonna comment well before I do that let me just go back to many chat real quick to unsubscribe myself from the um, from the flow so that way I don't have any issues showing you guys
Okay, so I guess I'm not subscribed, but I just want to make sure that I was unsubscribed so everything can go very smooth. So let me just pull my phone again. Then, let's see, so I'm in the post right now. For some reason it's not working. Let me just pull it up again. So, there. Okay, so here's the post. So now we're just gonna comment in it to make sure that everything will run smoothly. So I could also put some rice and chicken or whatever, whatever it is. So let's put, let's put this and we'll wait five seconds to receive the opt-in message to make sure that everything, oh, there we go, that everything is running great. So hello, we hope that you're having, that you're ready to eat free food for two months. Uh, we, we hope that you're ready to eat for free for two months the most exquisite Dominican and Puerto Rican food in the area. Please tap on the button below to, conf below to confirm your entry. So once they tap on this button, enter a giveaway, that's when they will actually become a subscriber. If they stop here, if they stop here, then you have no way of reaching back out to them and they won't receive the other flow. So enter giveaway. Great. So great, you've entered win. You've entered a win free food for two months terms. If you win, you'll win one free meal a week for two months. Then thank you as a as a thank you. Here's a 10% off. You'll need to show this to the server when you're paying. The offer may be redeemed once per customer, and this outcome, this coupon may not include any other offers. Dining only. So that's when you put in the terms of service and, and the things and how can, and how they can use the, the coupon. They receive the message and then they can tap on redeem now. So since I haven't gone through this flow before, then it sends me the, do you really want to redeem this offer? This must be done at the restaurant time of payment. This cannot be undone. And if this was an accident, an accident, do not click this. So say I'm at the restaurant, I'm ready to redeem my offer, redeem offer. So type in, so hey, how much was your tech? Please enter a whole number only now decimals round to the nearest dollars only the waitress and waiter can perform this action so at this point i will uh give it to the waitress or the waiter to put in the um the bill amount or since we are doing a pandemic i would actually put it in myself so you don't really have to put that in but that we just put it so we can be more exact on the numbers when we actually see when we actually go back to see the return investment for the campaign. So say I spent then I, uh, I say I spent 25 bucks. Put it here. 25. Thank you for coming. Stay tuned for more VIP offers. And then if we go to the Google Sheets, it should be right over here. So name, so first name, last name, Facebook ID, the bill total, and the total value. And it's just gonna keep on going and going and going and going and going for the whole campaign and for all the flows that you set that up for. So this was all for today's video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and to comment down below if you actually like this content because I'll be putting more content like this out here in my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.